Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a very quick and straightforward video. You guys had asked to see like what our bathroom essentials are like for the kids. So I'm gonna take you guys to their bathroom. I'm gonna kind of talk low because Jackson's sleeping in his room, which is right across the bathroom. But let's go check it out. I'll show you guys some of the things that we use on a daily basis with the kids. If you are new here, first of all, my name is Kayla. I'm a mom of two. Jackson is one, Riley is three. So I've got two toddlers. What I'm gonna show you is their bathroom with all of their things. When I do put them like to take a bath right now, they still take a bath together. We just make sure that we have the stuff in there that we need for both of them. But anyway, let's go see it. So in here is the kid's bathroom. Let me turn on the light. So we have their tub and I'm going to walk you guys through some of the things that we use here all the time. And then over here, this area too is not very well like organized, but there's a couple things here that I'll show you too. First and foremost, in terms of things that we love here for the kids, we've got this guy that I used to have back in our old house too. I love this thing. This is like one of those spout covers. So what's nice about it is, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see down here but the water can still come out what you use this for is that so the kids don't bump their heads I don't know about you guys but my kids are always like playing here when the water's coming down and this thing is hard so they have a tendency to kind of bump their heads so this is super helpful and it's also like playful and fun and they like looking at the fish and then it's got like a strap down here that you can use to tighten it so we love that and of course like always when I do these essentials videos anything that I can link for you will be down below in the description box so like open up that little box I have links to like where I got everything in case you guys want to shop I think most of the stuff I got off of Amazon though, so just heads up. So next thing I want to show you guys is our shower head. I have loved this thing so much, you guys. Joe is the one that picked it out when we moved into this house, and I know that up there is like a cluttered mess, but this shower head is awesome because it comes with obviously the thing up there, but it has the handheld thing that I use to bathe the kids. So I'm going to turn on the water a little bit to show you how it works. I can't say enough good things about this. We're obsessed with this. So let me turn on the water. So in order to get it to work, I have to pull down here in my shower at least. Let me see if I can use the other hand. I have to pull down on like the water spout to get the water to come out through here. It has two different settings. So it has this one, which is what I use to bathe the kids. They like this one better, but it also has that one. I think you can also like stop it here and then switch it back on but we love it because this is how I bathe the kids and this is how I wash their hair I don't have to worry about having like another cup to use you know to rinse their hair so this thing has been a lifesaver I'm gonna turn it off so I can keep talking to you guys you guys know how kids can be when they don't want water falling on their head and all of that and they're very like particular about the hair washing situation so we always use that and I just feel like it's easier to bathe the kids with like I said I don't have to worry about getting another cup and then going and refilling the cup with water in order to like to get the stuff off of their hair and their body that's something that i didn't have before we moved into this house and when we got it i was like why didn't i have this like my entire life with kids so i love that so much next thing we have in here this is the bath mat that i got on amazon it comes in a bunch of different colors but what i like about it is that it's super long so you want to make sure that when you're ordering a bath mat that you get one that's the right length because god knows like i ordered one on amazon one time and it was like a quarter of the size I was like okay that's gonna do nothing so for our tub it works really well because the tub underneath there is not like in the best shape I don't know if you can kind of tell like there's a little bit of like rust it's like an older tub so it acts as like the aesthetic thing you know where it covers all of those spots but then it also prevents them from slipping because when you've got little ones in the bath they're gonna be slipping all over the place they're gonna be moving from side to side so this makes sure that they don't slip and fall and break their heads open the next thing that has always been an essential of mine is this pooj bath kneeler so when I'm here bathing the kids and I have to be here you know watching them this saves my knees from getting destroyed and I just it's just one of those things that I think makes perfect sense and I think everybody should have one I used to hate bathing the kids before I had a bath kneeler like before I used to just like kneel on the tile and when I got this back in our old house I was like this is another one of those things that I should have had way longer. So I love that super cushiony. I think they also sell like these um things that you can put on this part of the bathtub so that if you're like bent over like this, you know, you have more cushion for your arms, but I don't find that I absolutely need that. Then you have all the things to keep the toys, right? So we have a million and five bath toys. So I got this compartment thingy, I think on Amazon too. And what I like about it is that it, um, 
will stretch out and I can make it smaller. I'm not gonna do it right now because all the toys are in here, but you can kind of adjust this so it's the right size to fit your tub. And then we also have this guy right here, which is another way to collect toys. So it's like a little net and Mr. Ray is in here from Finding Nemo, but like if you have a bunch of bath toys, instead of putting it in something like this, you can just kind of use this to scoop them out when there's water in the tub and then you can collect all the toys and then kind of hang them up here. So that's one of those like handy little storage things. I'm sure that you guys are gonna ask me about toys. I'll link just a few of the ones that the kids have. This is like the newest one that they have where they pour water in it with a little cup, which is I don't even know where, and then it kind of goes through the different buckets. They like that. But the winner in the bath has always been like the foam bath animals and letters. The kids love these when they get wet they stick on the tub so you can put them on the side of the tub and I know that Jackson right now is obsessed with them. I used to use these a lot to teach Riley like different shapes and colors and like we go through animals so that was always like a good learning um, thing whenever she was in the bathtub. Obviously they have a million different like varieties of these. I have this set and then my mom also got the kids this set which is super cute and has a bunch of other animals. So sometimes I'll grab them and I'll be asking Jackson you know to go over the different animals. He's still not at the point where he knows them all but we're working on it and you know that's like a fun bath time activity. In terms of like what I use to bathe the kids we've gone through like a bunch of different things like sometimes I used to use like the baby dove um, I'm not sure what the other one was like I tried out the tubby Todd up there Which I do like like the tubby Todd is good, but I think it's a little bit more expensive So the one that we use the most often to bathe the kids with is the honest company ones um, I just find that they're pretty affordable, but they're also very clean like the kids have very sensitive skin both of them So we haven't had any issues with this one and I love how it smells because this one is lavender so for Riley, we do the shampoo and body wash to bathe her and then we do the conditioner in her hair afterwards and then for Jackson, we just do the shampoo and body wash for his hair and for his body. But you can get these, I think at Target they have them. Um, I sometimes just order them straight from Amazon but those have always been really good. They have other um, scents. I think they have, I forgot if it's an apricot one or what but I always like the lavender. I just think it's nice before bed to go to sleep, you know, smelling like lavender. And then the other thing that we use all the time is this guy because for some reason our drain I don't know what happened to the cover so we use this to stop the water from you know going away Riley calls that a whirlpool stopper because when it's not there there's like a little whirlpool that goes down there so we use that to make sure that the tub can get filled up and then they can splash in there and play so that's something else that I didn't even know existed I don't know that they sold those things so that's what we've got going on in there then here we have a few other things now that Riley's at the point where she wants to like brush her teeth on her own and she's potty trained now so she uses the potty I have this little step stool so that she can make her way up here and she brushes her own teeth and then she can also move the step stool here and then she uses that to climb up on the potty and she sits there. We did get this little seat so that we could put it over the toilet so that she doesn't like fall down the hole there. So that's really helpful. I also like this one just because it like kind of blends into the toilet so it's not like an eyesore. And then right now she kind of goes through different toothbrushes. This is the one that she got at the dentist so there's nothing fancy about that. But this is the toothpaste that we use for Riley. It's a fluoride toothpaste. It's strawberry flavored. It's a very natural toothpaste. Before, she used to use the fluoride free, but when we took her to the dentist this time, the dentist recommended a fluoride toothpaste. I know that there's like some controversy about fluoride versus no fluoride, but this is the one that we use and she loves it. And then for Jackson, we use this one, the Dr. Brown's baby toothpaste. It comes with like a little giraffe toothbrush, which is in his room right now, so I can't show it to you because he's sleeping in there but this is the one that he uses it's strawberry flavored too and he really likes this it's funny because like almost every q a that i do over on instagram like somebody will message me and say like are you guys brushing jackson's teeth yet do you brush riley's teeth like there's always questions about whether or not i brush the kids teeth and we do i'm not going to tell you that we're the best about brushing them twice a day but at the very least before bed like we do the brushing of the teeth at the end of bath time that's always part of the routine and riley loves it it's like a way to postpone bedtime she's always like no i got to go brush my teeth and then she'll spend like five minutes like trying to brush her teeth so she doesn't have to go to bed but Jackson also will grab the toothbrush and he puts it in his mouth and then I have to like go in and kind of help him make sure that we got all the teeth so they are brushing their teeth and that's just what we use to do that and then really there's maybe just a couple things I can show you in Riley's room um as far as like bath time related things so all of the drawers here are like a mess and I have not cleaned up her room but I will show you guys this so this is 
the CeraVe healing ointment that we've been using with both of the kids, but more for Riley because she has super sensitive like eczema kind of skin. She will get a bunch of bumps. She has like that keratosis pilaris. So we do try to put this on her after we bathe her every night. The doctor told us that it's important to keep her skin super moisturized and I had heard really good things about this. It's kind of like an Aquaphor, but I think it's like a little bit heavier duty than Aquaphor. Aquaphor will use if I can't find this or if I have this one in Jackson room we kind of interchange between the two of them but it's a giant tub of like almost like a petroleum jelly like that's kind of what it feels like but we will put this all over her arms like especially back here in the back of her arms all over her legs and that kind of helps to keep her hydrated and moisturized and kind of reduces some of like the bumpiness that she gets on her skin so that's always part of the routine we'll get her in her towel when she's in the bathroom we bring her here to her room and then we lather this on her like after we dry her off and then we put her in her pj so this is something that we really like and then for riley in terms of like brushing out her hair we use the honest conditioning detangler this you can also get at Target or on Amazon and you guys she will not let us brush her hair unless um, we put conditioner she'll always say oh but you forgot the dishner she calls it dishner but we have to spray this it smells really good sweet orange vanilla is this flavor I haven't seen it in other flavors and other scents but this is a good one very affordable and then I just use like any kind of wet brush to detangle her hair because she has very curly hair like I don't know where it came from but she has curly hair and it can get very tangled if we don't brush it out so we make sure that we brush it out every night and then the last part of like her like bath time routine is putting on the violetas so if you guys are latin or cuban you may know what this is but it's like one of those cuban baby things that you know we just grew up putting on our children my mom used to call it colonia and that was just part of what she would do it smells so good it just smells like my childhood. I think it's supposed to smell like florally, like violets, but I love how it smells. It's just part of the routine. So Riley always asks for her dishner and her colonia, and that's what she calls it. And it just leaves her smelling good right before bed. For Jackson, the only other thing that we'll use sometimes is like if he has a little bit of a diaper rash, we use also the Honest Company diaper rash. It's like a little tube that has like blue lettering on it. I like that diaper rash cream. Again, sometimes we use Aquaphor on him for his skin. Other times I'll use that CeraVe depending on how bad his skin is at that moment. But that's really it for our bathroom essentials. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If there's anything that you guys think is like an essential, something that you guys use all the time, that you swear by, that you want to share with us share with me leave it down below in the comments so i can like read through them i always 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 love finding like new things to buy on amazon new things for the kids things that are helpful any bath toys your kids love let me know what those are so that way i can go look and fill up my amazon cart but that is it so thank you guys so much for being here i love you guys to pieces if you are new here remember to hit subscribe i do a lot of motherhood and lifestyle videos i do a lot of daily vlogs with the kids i try to share as much helpful motherhood stuff here on my channel so if you need like a new mom friend you want to just like hang out with someone while you're watching tv while you're watching youtube but definitely click that red button i would love to have you here and that is it so i love you guys thanks for being here make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys